MMNM's Agency 100 issue is easily our most anticipated issue of the year. Um, it's got, and it's also our biggest. It's like four to five times bigger than a standard issue of MMNM. That's because it's got um, reporter written profiles of the 100 largest uh, medical marketing agencies in North America. It's got a list of up and coming agencies that you want to keep an eye on. And it's got a revenue table that's probably the first thing that people turn to this year. Uh, or in any year when we produce this issue. Um, there have been some changes in the top 10. What have you noticed, Mark? So the sector overall uh, performed very well last year. We saw the uh, agencies uh, in North America boosted their revenue by 16% um, to over $3 billion, which is actually pretty impressive when you consider uh, the challenges that their clients are facing now, which include um, slowing revenue growth and other headwinds. So that, that was actually pretty impressive. When we delve into the top 10, uh, specifically, we see there's some movement there. Uh, Click Health stayed at number one, you know, thanks to some uh, amazing organic uh, revenue growth from some top tier clients like Novartis. Um, and uh, number two, we have uh, debuting at the Cineos Healthcare Communications, which is actually a roll up uh, of their US agencies like Navicor and GSW and Chamberlain PR and Chandler Chico. Mm -hmm. FCB Health New York um, stayed put at number three. Uh, and McCann Health dropped from two to four. Um, they've got the, the, uh, the nice medicine, so to speak, of um, several awards from McCann's line, so I think right. they'll be okay with that. And at number five, we've got a newcomer, Deloitte Digital. It's their first time on the list. Um, they appear really high up. So when we re read through all of these profiles, there are some trends that really jump out at you. But I think the thing I noticed most that everybody is dealing with, I think I'd be really surprised if all 100 top agencies didn't mention this, is um, the hunt for talent. Um, finding the right people and then, um, and then retaining them. Um, it's gotten, you know, it's a very tight labor market in general, but in this sector it's really, really tight. And so agencies are going to some really, what would seem, you know, five years ago would seem extreme lengths to get people to stay. Absolutely, yeah, the, the idea of investing in talent uh, and, and people is stronger than ever. So another big trend that we noticed is that everybody seems to be using artificial intelligence and deep data analysis. Um, I know that uh, in speaking to W2O, uh, I was told that they were, when they would go out to pitch, where it used to be that they would spend most of the time in the pitch meeting uh, focusing on the creative, they're now spending most of their time uh, focusing on their analytic capability and that there's not a single client that they work with who doesn't take advantage of that capability. People will be getting their hard copies of the magazine in the mail pretty soon and they'll know it's there because there'll be a very loud thump on their desks when it arrives. But there's something a little bit different going on uh, online this year, right? Yes, they are actually. Uh, the whole Agency 100 content package is being put behind a, a gate uh, this year. So in other words, uh, you'll have to register, uh, which has always been free, but now you need to register in order to get access to all this great content, uh, which also includes um, a uh, overview a piece which is chock full of data points on uh, like things like where the sector is deriving most of its revenue from and what's keeping agencies up at night, uh, to a handy downloadable guide uh, with uh, contact information and rosters, uh, client rosters for all of the T100, as well as a QA and a with the heads of health and the big five uh, networks. Uh, and uh, basically, we hope everybody enjoys it all this year. We certainly have. We have. We always do. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, Mark.